We are live. Yes, we are. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Cheers to all the years that we've been here together. 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 Everybody, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It is now February the 20th. This is Tuesday, February the 20th. Fat Tuesday. <laughs> Fat Tuesday. This is Tuesday, February the 20th. Man, let me tell y'all something. You know, God is amazing. God is amazing. God is just totally amazing. I had the opportunity, and I haven't been in so long. I haven't been. Let me tell you. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to go to the Chicago Auto Show. You know, we used to have the grandest auto show in the nation. At one time, Chicago was known well, very well known <clears throat> for um, curating the best auto show in the world. <clears throat> so I say that because... Initially, it was. It would be, um, at one time, it used to be a full level of cars and trucks and stuff uh, in McCormick Place. So there's the east side and there's the west side of McCormick Place. There is the east side is right on the lakefront. You can't help but see the water. And you walk through the building in certain areas, you get to see out these windows and you'll see the lake. It's really nice. Then there's the west side, which is on the opposite side of the Lakeshore Drive. But it's it's on the west side of the Lakeshore Drive road, the, the highway, Lakeshore Drive. <coughs> and so <clears throat> um, yesterday, I, I, I loved it. I, you know what I was really happy about? It was just about getting to the Toyotas, because I have been seriously contemplating. Um, uh oh, wait a minute, what's that? Hmm, interesting, interesting. I have been. This is really interesting. I got three little dots on my arm, and uh, one, two, one, two. But they're little raised little dots, and like from last time, I'm like, hmm. But um. Uh, they're clear. They're not red or anything like that. And they've been there for a while. And they're on one of the spots that was healed, that healed. And so I, it's just probably, I don't know. I ain't going to worry about it. But anyway, back to the car, um, the Toyotas and stuff. I've gone to the auto show. Um, I used to go to, you, you know, I used to go to the auto show almost every year. Um, but then... Work and times and life and all that got away and things got, you know, got built more and more. So life took place and um, I'd stop going, not stop going, but it was it it would come up on times when there was other things <clears throat> of more <clears throat> of more importance for me. So, hey, Trace. So um, I. um wasn't able to go. But yesterday, I took the time, since it was President's Day and all, and a lot of things, a lot, a lot of businesses were closed, but a lot of them weren't. But I did take the time and I went to the auto show yesterday because I have been in, been very, I, I, I am, I've been contemplating, like I said, um, another vehicle. I do have a Toyota Corolla and it's, you know, it's, I want something a little higher off the ground, you know what I'm saying? I don't want something a little higher. Um, so I was kind of glad I went, though what really freaked me out about the auto show is that it only took maybe about an hour, maybe two, to walk around the entire place. That's how small it was. It was a third. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a fourth of what it used to be, the auto show. It was a, actually a fourth of what it used to be. So at one time, they would have, GMC would have its own area. I mean, 
huge, massive at McCormick Place. You know, McCormick Place has a east and west and a north and south building. So, yeah, <laughs> events in all these buildings are being held. Um, but for the auto show, the building that can sustain the weight of those cars and all of that and those trucks and make it simple to get in right off of Lakeshore Drive is always held in um, the West Building. And so, well, uh, yeah, I think that is the West Building. West, West Building, I don't think it's the, no, the South Building, I think it is. It's always been held in that building. And so, but it's like I said, the floor, that one floor that they've always had it on, would it, it, it's it, when you it, it's massive. Y'all know in Chicago McCormick Place is huge. Um, we have people that come here that want to do um events here, but now the prices the price has skyrocketed so crazy over at McCormick Place that they hardly even get people to do events in there in there anymore. Plus, you know, everything is digital now. Everything is digital. But Hey, Karen. Hey, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Uh, but everything is digital. And so um, <clears throat> almost everything is digital. And so the existence of uh, events and all that shows um, are kneeling. You know, they're, 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 it's not as great as they used to be. So <clears throat> yesterday was really... It was really small. I was really, you know, the only thing that kept me there, the four and a half hours, the four hours I was there, the only thing that really kept me there, the four hours I was there, was the fact that I stood in line for damn near an hour to do this little um, assimilation thing truck, with the truck because I was curious on how the truck really handled. And um, I took a ride in a vehicle called Lucid, L-U-C-I-D, Lucid. That, I stood in that line too. That boy, because they wouldn't let us drive the car. Oh, hell no. Not a, it, girl, bye. listen, child, listen. They wasn't finna let us drive those cars. Baby, listen. You know why they wasn't finna let us drive those cars? Because a fool would ride straight through those little barricade things that they, the little thing, the little plastic things, they plastic. They're not cement like on the highway. They plastic. And they ain't going to let nobody get behind the wheel of them cars, test driving them cars with all these people in the place. Is you kidding me? You talking about a lawsuit. If you get a fool behind a wheel of one of them cars, somebody hire some, or somebody just want to act a fool. And go through that barricade and kill somebody or lose control of the vehicle, anything. They're not going to do that. So they have people who are, uh, they drive the cars with you in it. So you can see how the car, the ride feels and all that, how it sounds, all that kind of stuff. But see, my thing, you can't ride a car, drive a car with me in it if you think I'm getting ready to buy it. Well, of course, we didn't buy it at the auto show yesterday anyway, but. Still, you couldn't drive a car for me and have me on the passenger side driving the car in a passenger side of his best friend's ride. No, or the, or the dealer's ride on the passenger side of the dealership ride. <laughs> Trying to holler at me on the passenger side of the dealership ride. Okay. Uh, <laughs> because you can't feel, you can feel a car on the passenger side, how it rides. But you really can't feel how it rides as a driver. You must be in the driver's side, driver's seat of a, any vehicle if you test driving it. And I ain't finna buy no car that I can't test drive. I, I, you didn't, you don't have to escort me around because I don't. I ain't got no driver. I ain't got no, you know. I don't have no chauffeur, so I don't need you to drive me around the car that I'm buying. I need to drive the car myself. You know what I'm saying? If I was curious of how the ride was on the passenger side, then, you know, I, I had a chauffeur, that'd be fine. But I want to know how the car drive. And you can always feel anything. If you are, I'm a special type of female. I'm a special type of female. I ain't going to lie. 
I'm a tomboy, first and foremost of all, fully, fully fledged. I grew up with nothing but boys. And, and I'm a daddy's girl. And, and he used to drag me around. Nothing but boys. So, <laughs> okay. Nothing but boys. But um, I'm a lady to the heart. Love me some men. Love my men. But uh, anyway. Uh, back to the driving. I am a woman that I know how to get up under the hood of a car. I know how to change my oil. I know how to take a tire off a car. I know how to change the damn tire. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know how to hook uh, 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 cables up to a battery <laughs> and to the other battery. <laughs> and I know when to pop one of them cables off that battery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know how to do that kind of stuff. But once again, I was around boys. My brothers didn't teach me. My daddy did. Cause my daddy was truck driving and everything, so he you know he when I rode with him in the summertime after being out of school for the summer, I would be with my dad in the truck because he was cross country. So I'd be with him in the truck. Oh, did my mother love that? She was like, "Oh Lord, I get a break." <laughs> yeah, here, here, listen, here, little baggy. <laughs> yeah, you got it for food and everything. Is here, little baggy. <laughs> Go buy a little toothbrush and toothpaste while you're out there. I forgot to pack it. Uh, but it was fun. I learned a lot. As a woman, I'm grateful that uh, my dad actually took me under his wing and showed me how to do some things. Hey, blood brother. Hey, Debbie. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. There's a lot of people here. I know they just ain't chimed in, though. But good morning, everybody. Um, but I'm grateful that my dad took me under his wing and chimed in. Um, you know, and I, you know, and showed me the things that he showed me as a girl, uh, because it has carried me through this life dealing with vehicles. It really has, man. I used to fix my own Volkswagen. I had a Volkswagen bug. I used to fix my own, um, throttle cable with the, the, them dollar on them Volkswagen bugs, them Beatles, them Volkswagen Beatles. Maybe listen. Them sap sucking, them darn throttle cable. The throttle cable is the cable that when you push your 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 accelerator, your gas pedal, okay. Actually, it's called the accelerator. When you push the gas pedal, <laughs> uh, that's it's a cord that goes from the gas pedal, runs up underneath through the base of the car, around to the back of the car to the motor where the motor was because the motor's in the back of a be the beetle, right? And it wraps, it, it connects to this thing that poof, poof, lifts like that. And so, but you got to have it. You got to have the tension on it. You got to, you got to know how to cut it, the cord, because it's just a long cord. You know them cable cords? Like you can hang pictures with the damn cable cords. That's what I'm talking about, them cable cords, the metal cable cords. You can hang a picture, a heavy, heavy picture on a wall with them cable cords. Same thing as in a Volkswagen bug to accelerate for the gas pedal to, to get gas. You have, it's a cord. It's a cable cord. A throttle cable, they call it. And so the throttle cable, it throttles up, the throttler. And so it connects to um, under the pedal and it runs underneath the base of the car um, and it goes into the back, uh, through the back underneath it where, you know, you don't wrap around underneath. You have to be up underneath the car and uh, or you take the back seat out <laughs> and, and run it in. No, I take the back seat out. It was easier for me to do it that way uh, and run it in and pull it on the thing. But you would have to know how much more to pull and where to cut it at. You would have to know where to cut it with the wire clippers. Um, because if you didn't have, if you didn't have enough, t enough in the tent, if you didn't, if it, if it was too, if you had too much tension tight tightness, um, um, you, you didn't get the full gas effect. And if, if it was too tight and then, um, if it was too loose, it, your, your pedal was darn near almost to the floor before you could get gas. So, and sometimes your car cut off. So it was a it was a thing, and I learned how to do that. Um, my dad taught me about cars, but who taught me about that throttle cable was another friend called Poo Poo. Uh, I grew up with Herbie Harris. Herbie Harris, he taught me how to install him. Him, I'm sorry, Ice Mike taught me how to install the the throttle cable. Herbie taught me how to control the tension on it. 
Because he's like, you ain't got no, it ain't getting enough gas. It ain't getting enough gas. <laughs> he hopped out my car. It ain't getting enough gas. <laughs> and looked up on it. <laughs> Crawled up on, underneath the car and then saw it. He said it was it had too much looseness, too much play in it. So I learned how to install a, t- a, tension, a throttle cable by a guy named Ice Mike back in the day. May his soul rest in peace. And I learned how to control and how to how to adapt, adjust that attention by his brother, his little brother, Poo Poo, Ice Mike, and Poo Poo. They are brothers, and uh, they both are car aficionados. <laughs> I, I'm gonna leave it just like that. They was car aficionados, and I mean, them boys knew their stuff. Oh, when it came to cars. Man, I can't imagine if they were still alive, what kind of businesses they would have. Because Mike had started the business and knowing how time had advanced, I can see him keeping up with it. He would have had a much bigger, I, I, I kn- knowing Ice Mike, I knowing him, he would have had an awesome business. But anyway, we're talking about the cars and all this kind of stuff. And the cars, I learned how to do that because of my dad. So, uh, you know, it's, one thing is another. Let me see. What you say, blood brother? Oh, you replaced the whole cable. You have bad. <laughs> yeah, I had to replace the whole cable. <laughs> once you, once the cable pops, it's popped. You can't use it. <laughs> and, uh, unless it was popped, it popped and it was a lot of play in it. And then you ten- pulled it and tightened on the tension a little bit more. And then, but you still had enough in it to still be. Yeah, otherwise, normally they, when they pop, they pop in this, like a, a good quarter of a ways in and or either in the middle <laughs> so, so or at the yeah you have to have something that was going to be able to yeah fit yeah it, it was easy actually it was really easy it was easier than a lot of people think it is i was like oh is it <laughs> okay <laughs> that ain't bad <laughs> got a little grease on my hands not a lot a little bit but yeah it wasn't that hard um, and he said, if you can do that, then you can install car stereo. I, <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. No, I ain't been installed on car stereo. <laughs> but I probably could. I do a lot of stuff, though, mechanically. I do a lot of things mechanically. Um, I've been doing that a lot, a lot all my life, though. You know, uh, you have to learn how to do things for yourself because, um, you know, and if you ain't got the money to get nobody, pay nobody to do it, you better learn how to do it for yourself. <laughs> hey, I'm a- <laughs> you ain't trade divine. Look, hey, <laughs> look, if you ain't got it, you better learn how to do it by yourself. Look, look. So I had to learn, but. Back to the lecture at hand. Life is just amazing, though. You know, we gain so much insight from each other. It's we really have a lot that we can teach another person and 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 teach other people, not just one person, but persons. And um, it's just so much. I posted a couple of things on my page about uh, Black History and some some of the stuff that people were talking about. It, go and look at some of those things I posted. It's just really amazing. Um, you know, it's more than just me that knows this. It's a lot of people that really want to work together and really build a better America. You know, a, a, a better a united. We want to be more united of the state of America. <laughs> You hear me? We want to be more united in the states of America. <laughs> okay. Cause this dissension and this racism and this, you know, exclusion, exclusionism and racism and all this, you know, seg- segregatism and segregation, segregationism. <laughs> okay. Segregatism. Okay. Got it. Um, all this stuff ain't doing nothing, but keeping, um, we're losing, we're losing the battle. We're, we're losing the damn battle. We're losing the battle now because these other countries have uncovered the lies, the deception and everything of this country. And so now they know they got you by, they got this country by its neck. Damn near. It's a couple 
countries that got this country by its neck. Okay? I'm just saying. Mm. And um, they really do. He was on. He doing great, blood brother Mike. He was on here the other day. He was on here on Valentine's Day. Him and Alicia. He in North Carolina. That's how good he doing. <laughs> he ain't in a and he ain't in Georgia no more. In North Carolina now. That's how good he. Do. <laughs> I was turk. He doing fantastic. <laughs> he down there with his boo thing. <laughs> do a little boo thing. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, he's doing much, way, way better. He was on the show. He was on the talk show. We we had the Valentine's love edition. It was beautiful. But, you know, people are ready to get back together and unite. I think a lot more people are really wanting to because they see it's, it's starting to become very clear and obvious about the oppression that this country has placed on specific certain peoples. And so, um, I'm sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. It is becoming very clear and obvious about the oppression and suppression <laughs> that this country, and the people who are in, in charge and running things and that they have placed on other people people, um, different types of people. And so, <laughs> and so, you know, I'm just keeping it real. And um, people are tired. People are tired of the BS. They're tired of it. And they're coming to um, not grips per se, but they're coming to a mode of wanting to squash it. You know, it's like, you know, we got to do something now. You know, now they're saying, you know, now we got to do something. Are they doing it? A little bit. Not as much as should, what should actually should be done. Um, but you know, everything has a timing, you know, and I know you have, <laughs> I know you've been in my, you know, everything has a timing and, um, the timing isn't for it right now. If it was, it would be. It would present itself. It's amazing the travels we take. We're tired of it, but you know God has planned for other things. God probably tired of it too. Matter of fact, God, you tired of? It? Yeah, I said. Okay, <laughs> like what you think? <laughs> <laughs> will y'all uh wake up? <laughs> God is like, will y'all wake up? So, uh, yeah, it's time. People tired. Cohesiveness is what we're looking for. Cohesiveness is what we're looking for. That's it. It's what a lot of people are looking for. To bring together a unity, a unity or a unison of things. Um, there's so much similarity um, outside. You know what? Give me one second. This is a call I can't miss. I, I'm sorry. Hello? Okay, I didn't need to take that. So I asked him, would he be kind enough to call me back? If not, I'll just try to reach back out to them because I had reached out to them. It's about my furnace. I got to get my furnace service. Um, but anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, well, cohesiveness. People are tired and they're trying to come together and everything is just so 
crazy now because the 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 deranged re- craze is coming out because now people are starting to wake up to certain things through the deranged craziness that's going on. You have more and more re- repetitive, repetitious um, uh, damages to homes and lands and and towns and stuff. All these, all this, all these uh, storms and stuff are hitting, and it's crazy. Um, more so now than ever before. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. All right. So. I say that because we sit here right now in the month of February, February 20th to be exact, and we only got nine more days left. This is Black History Month, by the way. Um, And I just think that we really, um, as those of us who are Black people, really need to get deep and bring more energy of love into our um, uh, passings and things of that nature. When we come across each other, we should really acknowledge from the heart, though, acknowledge each other, you know, uh, because we really are all we got. We really are all we got, though there's a lot of other people that want to see things better for people of black color, (laughs) brown, okay? But a a lot of people are still scared to step, totally step out on stuff because they don't know the ramifications. But... I feel that there are a lot more people wanting to try to come and overthrow the ignorance and the hate and all that's going on right now. I really do. Um, It's amazing how things change. Like I was telling you when I started this show off today, this morning, about the auto show here in Chicago, how at one time it used to be so so large, you would have to go two days because it's no way in hell you're going to get through that show in one day as large as it was. You would definitely be going back for a second day. Or either you're going to go early in the morning, start when they open, and you're going to be there the entire time until they close. And they used to close at 9 at night or 10 now they're they closing at eight <laughs> so that lets you know how how things are changing um and i said that because i was telling you guys that when i went to the auto show my main thing was just to see um the what's new in toyotas because i have been contemplating getting a different vehicle because i want something that sits a little higher off the ground and then i started telling you guys about how my dad I was grateful, but as a female, I do a lot of stuff that most females don't normally do unless that's their, you know, you got some girls that's in the auto industry, that the mechanics and stuff like that, and truckers, you know. Um, uh, but um, I was grateful that my dad taught me the things that he taught me because it has carried me up until this time. I have done uh, a lot of little things, the smaller things to my vehicle instead of taking it into a shop myself, um, where it saved me hundreds of dollars, especially like, uh, my brakes. Now I had to have somebody pull that thing on for the brakes because that thing was hard. I can't pull I pop my nail and everything. I, yeah, I broke my nail past the wig, trying to get that thing off the shoot. The, ooh, for the brakes. They had been, oh Lord. I had to have some, I had to have a guy come and do it. I said, I need somebody to do this. I can't get out. But Otherwise, I have been able to like change my own tires, change my oil, install my own throttle cable on my Volkswagens when I had Volkswagens. You know, uh, yeah, you know, um, I I do I I check all my fluids. I know how to top them all off. You know, I yeah, I I know how to do that. I know how to you know change oil, like I said, and add the oil and everything. 
Um, I can do all that. Uh, and uh, But I also know a car. I feel a car. I know when something's not right in a vehicle when I'm driving it. I can feel it. You know, like something's not right here. I can feel it through the rump. If there's a, a rumble or something like that, a uh, vibration in the floor while my foot is done, I can feel that. And so I'm grateful for that. And so um, all this started with the auto show, my dad teaching me and everything until it gets to the point of the very moment that we are here to read. This is Black History Month. And mind you, I really have not seen a lot of, um, let me say bombarding on television or anything else of Black history, except for on the internet. Uh, and I've had the television on and running in the house. I might, I can't sit in front of it, but it, I can hear it. And I just haven't heard any, you know, a lot of Black history stuff. Now, Channel 9, WGN, they've been doing some things, but I just was really shocked. I'm like, we only got this, we got the smallest month in the whole entire year. Um, we've produced and uh, invented uh, practically everything that we all use today from the better light bulbs and everything. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, stuff, you know, stuff for cataracts and, you know, we done produced everything, elevators. Escalators, you know, stuff for space shuttles to get the men to Mars, you know. I mean, what the hell? And we get the shortest month in the year, and and then we don't even get the exposure of everything that we really should be getting the exposure for. It's like, really? <laughs> really? And in saying that, before I go into this, with um, Black History Today, who we will focus on today, let's get the party started. He's back. <laughs> Just like that. Hey, Linda Shop. Hey, Linda. While the craziness is going on today is my birthday. Happy birthday to you, Linda Boo. Uh, God woke me up to see another day loving on me today. That's a beautiful thing. Love on you. Love, self-care, self-care, self-care. Boop. And in that order. And um, and a uh, happy birthday to Mother Priesta, Alicia's mom. Uh, uh, today is her birthday also. Uh, so happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Y'all still Aquarians. Y'all not Pisces yet. Pisces start tomorrow. Is it the 22nd of the month? I know Pisces is coming up. So, um, but happy birthday to all you Aquarians out there to Linda Shaw, to mama priest. Hey mama, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday. That's my song, and I sang it. <laughs> Today 
in his direct, man, you know what? I got so much good love. Man, I got some good love. I got some serious, oh no, wait. I got some, let me look at this real quick. I got some serious good love. Let's go to, um, let me see, let me go down here. I got a nice little book, yeah. I got a cute little book, y'all, I've had for quite some time. And I got this book from McDonald's from the black McDonald's operators. It was a, a, an event that they held. Um, and most of the black McDonald owners here, um, were there and they put this on and it's, um, little known black history facts. <laughs> I love it. And it's got a lot of stuff in this book. Um, <clears throat> so while we're talking, let's talk about, um, Andrew Jackson Beard. That is our guy for today. We're going to focus on Andrew Jackson Beard. Begins today. Oh, yes, Pisces World begins. Oh, Pisces begins today on the 20th? Oh, okay. All right. I was singing along. You just couldn't hear. I no care. Thank you. <laughs> Divine, I am sending love and hugs to your boss. She's, oh, all right, Divine. No problem. Oh, she said, oh, tell mama I said thank you. Love you. Uh, and so, um, Andrew Jackson Beard, y'all, who turned an accident into an invention? Who turned an accident into an invention? Andrew Jackson Beard. While he was working on the railroad in Alabama, Andrew Jackson Beard suffered a serious accident. He was standing between two railroad cars, linking them together when he was crushed between the cars. He lost a leg. The accident was Beard's incentive to create a device to hook cars together automatically. Look here. Let me tell you how bad we, we some bad mama jammers, papa stoppers, baby. Don't you tell us about black. Black don't crack and get back, Jack, if you ain't black. That's what I'm talking about. You better have somebody. Okay. We have always made things to make our lives easier. We've always made things to make, to, to, to take the bite, the sting out of the bite. Okay. We've always made things. Cotton, wait, slavery. We made things to make it easier for ourselves. Like, no, we're going to get it done, massa. But Master, we just going to create this machine for us, Master, because we just need this machine because this machine's going to help us do a lot more work for you, Master. We just going to get all this. We're going to do even more work. We're going to produce more than the other plantation down the road, Master. <coughs> God dig it, damn. <laughs> Y'all better answer. <laughs> okay. Who turned an accident into an invention? While he was working on the railroad in Alabama, Andrew Jackson Beard suffered a serious accident. He was standing between two railroad cars, linking them together when, he's when he was crushed between the cars. He lost a leg. The accident was Beard's incentive to create a device to hook cars together automatically, an invention that later became the model for a national standardized linking mechanism. National standardized. So y'all know when they say SOP, those are standard operating procedures. His invention is one of a standards of an operating or a, a mechanism, mechanism. Yes. So it's something that is recognized nationally among a railroad. Uh, yeah. 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 Burlington Northern, all of them. Um, Wow. See what I'm talking about? It was patented in 1897. My big mama was two years old. Inventions were not new to Andrew Jackson Beard. Born around 1850, he worked on a plantation. He patented a new form of plow and then a rotary steam engine. <laughs> Listen, you know what tickles me, Pink? Ah! Is that we some bad mammal devils, baby? I just love me us some black. Ain't no, I can't, I, as much as it, it, it kills me when we do stupid shit. 
<sighs> I still love me some blacks. I'm telling you, we are phenomenal people. Such creators, such inventors. Man, we are. We are. You know, like I am, that I am, we are. That we are. You better ask somebody. Mm, mm, mm. Cre- we are artists to the hilt. We're born artistry. We built artistry. <laughs> okay. We built artistry. Mm, mm, mm. The man was born in 1850, worked on a plantation. He patented a new form of plow and then a rotary steam engine. Because he had never been taught to read or write. <laughs> the man never been taught to read or write. And Bill st- Mm-mm-mm. Because he had never been taught to read or write, Beard had to sign his patent applications with his mark. And X marks the spot. <laughs> you better ask somebody. Beard received $50,000, a substantial amount of money at the time. There, uh, at the ta- when he sold the patent for his railroad car coupler, the railroad car coupler, you know, that's that thing that when you push the cars together, it, it um, one side has a hoop and the other side has a thing, click, click, and they click to get, and they link together it, when they're, uh, and I've seen it at, at CTA. So, um, yeah, especially when my brother, when I, li- I was younger and my brother worked with CTA, he drove the trains. I've seen it because we've gone into the back, into the yard with the train, and you see um, them uh, con- disconnecting or either pushing another train, a couple of more train cars to it to connect to it. I've seen that railroad coupler. And I've seen it um, when I was at Burlington Northern. I did some uh, temp work um, for Burlington Northern. It's been some time ago. Man, that was um, in the 90s. Yeah, and then no, in the eighties. So I was working for Boiling Burlington. It was a temporary job. Uh, it was like two weeks, and um, uh, we were out on the rail cars then at the rail cars then, and uh, <clears throat> we were cleaning rail cars, and getting stuff off, and cleaning the the rail lot, the rail yards, and everything. So you would see them because you they would have somebody like a safety per a person that's a safety to make sure that everything is like, oh, ain't nobody in the way and stuff like that. Oh, wait, hold on, stop, wait, stop. And they clear the road, clear the road, people that do that. And so um, um, the guys would be coming and bringing the cars and linking them, hooking them up, connecting them then. So the man created, <laughs> because he had never been taught to read or write, that just gets me. That just gets me. That just gets me. Uh, yeah, J- Turk say now that's outdated. Now they have C couplers now, but Turk, but it ain't. It's not outdated. He was the first one to create it. They never would have had C couplers if it wouldn't have been for his invention, probably. So he, he, his his invention will never be outdated because he was the first one to create it. And no, nothing else was ever made in any such manner to do any such thing. And just think of how many legs would have been decapitated from men trying to do what he was doing in this day and age, if nothing, no one would have ever, oh, created, oh, let me do this. I can do that. The point I'm making is that we have built everything that this country world is using right now to to be, which is very advantageous for these companies and businesses and stuff that's using all of the inventions that blacks have created. Yeah. <clears throat> Wash and dry. I mean, think about it. Wash and dry. Yeah. We have built everything. Refrigerator. Everything that we needed to sustain life on this planet. And it's still being used today. 
I don't care how far back it was, how much more they re redone it. They they had to, they had a model. The model came from us. They used our model <clears throat> now with technology and everything that's going on now to make things better. But we made it first. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Back to Beard, Andrew Jackson Beard. He never he had never been taught to read or write. That breaks my heart. It really does. To hear that he'd never been taught to read or write. But here's a man that's inventing stuff to make everybody's life a lot easier. To make his master's life a lot easier. Never, never given credit for nothing. Beard received 50,000. Beard had to sign, because he'd never learned to read, Beard had to sign his patent applications with his mark and X. <clears throat> Beard received $50,000, a substantial amount. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's, I mean, that, that, me was clans. I wouldn't even have an this until I had this. And this stuff just like goes in and starts bringing stuff up. Beard received $50,000, y'all. A substantial amount of money at the time when he sold the patent for his railroad car coupler. Curiously, there is no available information about his life after that date. Isn't that something? Hmm. Curiously. Hmm, I wonder why. Hmm, I wonder why. Huh. <laughs> he sold the patent to his railroad coupler so his family can't, can't, any descendants after that can't get anything for that. But they can go back on that rotary steam engine and that new form of plow. Because, see, a new form of plow. He didn't create the plow, um, but he made a rotary steam engine. This is un unreal, but that's curious. There is no available information about his life after that date. That is real. Mm -hmm. It is known that he died in 1921. <clears throat> Whatever the unknown story Andrew Jackson Beard is remembered as the man who turned a terrible personal accident into an invention that improved safety on the job for others. And that is the little known black history fact that y'all did not know. We salute Andrew Jackson Beard. Black History Month, today, February 20th. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> that's for sure. Turk say that's for sure. Yeah, Timberly say they did not teach us this in school because they knew we could run this world. Yeah. That is why for Black History Month, it was only select few mentioned and it was not being taught by black teachers. Kimberly, you can say that again. Let me tell you what I said. I got to say this, and we're going to go into prayer because I got to get out of here. It was not, and I'm going to tell you something. It's a school I lived right across the street from when I was in Inglewood. Benjamin Banneker Elementary School. First through, I mean, uh, kindergarten through eighth. The principal, I knew the assistant principal. I met the principal once at that time. And um, and then I knew uh, quite a few of the teachers. There were only three teachers in that school that were white. Our, every other teacher in that school was black. Why are you telling us, why are you only following what's given to you to teach and not adding more to it to help the students to understand who they are. That's your school. These are our kids. They stayed at the school a lot. For, start giving some of them kids some more information about who they are. I know you can't add nothing to the curriculum. I mean, build it in, but you can just mentions. Just mentions. By the way, are you guys familiar? Go do some research. 
Yeah, do some research on this person. <clears throat> so you'll know. And tomorrow we'll have a question, questioning, questioning about who this person is. If it if it wasn't number, just that. Because see, if we don't help us, ain't nobody finna help us. Ain't nobody finna give us all that information. By no means. We have to give us that information when we get it. And so I used to tell him, if you don't tell the kids that, they ain't gonna know it. You studying, you you following the book. The book is not built to better us at all. So the book you following, that curriculum you following, is not a curriculum to help us at all. It's a curriculum that they had established prior because originally we weren't included in the educational curriculum. Don't forget, Brown versus, <laughs> Brown, what was it? Brown v. Brown something versus Brown. And so... Um, we weren't included in that curriculum, you know, at all to learn nothing. So they don't, they weren't going to put the, the true nature of who we are, the true identity of who we are in books. Come on. <laughs> if they didn't want us in the schools, what make you think they're going to put our information from way, way back, way before slavery in the books? And even through slavery, people who built things in the, in the books. <laughs> they ain't going to do that. Mm. So therefore, the, edu- the curriculum hasn't really changed much from... What is that thing? What was the thing? Somebody put it in there. Brown something in the courts. Um, the segregation and all that. You know, And so... If they weren't going to put that in, they didn't want us in the schools. You know, they was only going to give us what they wanted to give us to learn anyway. They they definitely weren't going to let us learn about ourselves. That's what we have to step in. And we have to teach each ourselves about ourselves. Teach each other about ourselves. Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's sad. And just like a brother said today, I was listening to something early this morning. He was telling us about the Bible. And... He was talking about how um, we are not African Americans. We are Judeans. That's what the brother because he said because he said because he's African. He said that's not a, and it really isn't. And that's one of the reasons why we can't win in a, in a, in a court of law when it comes to reparations, because we don't have an identity. A stable, no. And at least not one that's in their books. But then again, who wrote, who put, who, 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 did, who built the books? Okay. But then again, we are also natives, Native Americans. We are native. Yeah. And so we just been bamboozled so much. Um, so much. It's just sad. Uh, Turk said, that's for sure. Turk said, yes, they are. And they made trillions off us, but don't want to give us our 40 acres and a tractor. I know. Yeah. Cause you can forget the mule now. <laughs> you <need> the tractor. <laughs> Actually, you can forget the, the tractor too, <laughs> because now they got some technology stuff. They can go and do all of that. For you. <laughs> they probably knocked them off Turk. Yeah, they probably did. <laughs> Everybody, let's pray. So God is great <clears throat> through all of it, through all of the deceit, the deception, the lies, the railroading, the jailing, um, injustice, through all of that, burning our communities down, hanging our men, uh, uh, raping our, our black women, um, killing our children and, 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 trying to educate us on BS, total bullshit, and all of that. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Exactly. But uh, Turk said, oh, we have an identity, but they're trying to hide it. Right. And so through all of that, God is and has kept us and gotten us through it all. That right there ought to let you know who you is. We the people, baby. We that people. Okay. So 
recognize, treat yourself and your brotherly and your brothers and sisters, brethren and sisterins accordingly. They ain't got to be related to you. Treat yourself and your brethren and your sisters accordingly. In the name of Jesus, let's blow out. Take a deep breath in and hold it. Exhale. Take another deep breath in and hold it. Exhale. Take one more deep breath in and hold it. And when you take it in, think on your grandest intention for today. Only for today. Something you might want to get done, completed, something you might want to attempt to uh, uh, embark on today or something new, whatever it is, put it in that thought of intention and pull it in as you inhale. Marinate it for that five second count. Exhale on so it is, so it shall be. Let's inhale. Exhale. So it is, so it shall be. Oh, yeah. Hey, Leslie. Great show, beloved. You're teaching this this morning. She said, I'm teaching this morning. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, So, to God be the glory. Lord, thank you for another brand new day. Hallelujah. Thank you for keeping us, waking us up with each and every freaking morning. Lord, we are forever grateful for all that you do all that you've done and all that you are doing on behalf of us, those and all who you have brought to you in this world and one of your children. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, thank you for giving us the energy, the understanding, the wisdom, the insight, the creativity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Hallelujah. We are just forever grateful. All the greatness, all the greatness in this Black History Month and 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 month. month. We are that we are definitely great. And we are forever grateful that you designed us, breathed into our nostrils, gave us life, brought us to this planet, brought brought us to this world, and uh, allowed us to blossom. Thank you for that. Thank you for all the peoples of the planet because culture is great. Culture mm, is continuing. And this is like continuing education because we all learn from each other. So, Lord, we're grateful for all the ethnicities and nationalities and all the different people that you've brought to this planet. Oh, Lord, we're forever grateful for being able to learn from each other. As long as the learning that we're getting is the truth. To God be the glory. So, therefore, we look to you from whence our help cometh from. Because all things pure and natural cometh from you. All things true and real cometh from you. And so we wait for your word and your guidance in the mighty name of Jesus. To God be the glory. Amen, amen, amen. We just grateful. Look, we just grateful. Just grateful. To God be the glory. Everybody, listen. Tomorrow's Wednesday, the 21st. We only got nine days left in this in this month. In this month, nine days. That's it. it this is a leap year, so we do have that extra day this month. So to God be the glory. Everybody, let me tell you something. Do this one thing for me. Reach back and give back, cause somebody out there needs to hear from you. Needs a kind word. Needs a bottle of water. Needs a few dollars. Need a jacket. Need a pair of shoes. Somebody might need an idea or help with some ideas. Whatever 
the spirit has placed on your heart to do, by all means, do it. Somebody out there is in need and God is using you. <clears throat> and boy, that stuff be coming in. And God is you. I have to go do my breathing, deep breathing. And, and when I deep breathe, it really brings it up. But God is using you to help someone. So in the name of Jesus, help them. Okay. Yeah, 2024 is rolling. Now it ain't rolling. Matter of fact, it ain't rolling. It's it's rolling. But it's it's more. It rolled to the Lear jet that it's on. 2024 is leering. <laughs> it ain't rolling no more. It's leering. Lear jetting <laughs> up out of here. Uh, that's what it's doing. <laughs> I'm telling you, all of me has been doing leering. <laughs> They've been flying. So, I mean, it just seemed like just the other day when I was young and just a kid again. You know what I'm saying? And so... <laughs> For real, for real. But God is good and God has been keeping us. God has been keeping us. To God be the glory. <clears throat> Y'all, what I want you guys to do and what I want you to really know is that God loves you. God loves me. God loves everybody under the tree. You're being a big back patty. Well, give your God some praise. Because God has kept us going all of these days. And in that order, to God be the glory. Everybody, go in peace today. Make somebody's day. Love, peace, soul, and hair grease. If your scalp is itching, please wash before you condition. <laughs> That's all I got to say. You might need to put a little sulfur aid in your scalp, too, while you at it. So I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, right here on what? In my element with who? Blase Skippy. See y'all tomorrow. Peace out. Love, peace, soul, and hair grease. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>